Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand one important topic that is transistor as a switch, right? Transistor as a switch. It is widely used application in electronics industry. Let us say if you want to drive your LED with a certain amount of current that is 20 milliampere, you have to operate your transistor as a switch. So we will understand how transistor works as a switch and what is its real time application, right? So if you want to drive your transistor as a switch, there is a two modes of operation. The first is transistor has to work in cutoff mode. Okay, cutoff region. It is also called open switch mode. Right. The second one is uh, it has to work in saturation mode. A uh, saturation region. It is also called a closed switch operation. So there is two mode to works as a transistor as a switch. The first is cutoff mode or open switch and the second one is saturation mode or closed switch. So we will understand how transistor works in a cutoff mode or open switch mode and how transistor works as a saturation mode, how transistor works in a saturation mode or closed switch mode, right? So we will understand today. You can see this is the basic circuit of of the transistor here you can see this is the vcc that is collector voltage which is connected by a resistance r2 and then we have a transistor npn transistor this is npn transistor and collector is connected to the resistance r2 and emitter is connected to the ground then we have a base which is connected to the base drive resistance and then we have vbb that is base voltage now we will understand how transistor works in a cutoff region or open switch mode so this is the circuit diagram of transistor so if you apply your base voltage that is vbb base voltage that is vbb equal to zero here you can see our vbb equals to zero since vbb equals to zero so there is no current flow through base to emitter right this is let us say this current is ib base to emitter current this current is ib so if your vbb equals to zero that means you are not applying any potential at your volt at your base so there is no, no current flowing through your base to emitter junction that means your ib equals to zero right your ib equals to zero if you have your ib equals to zero there is no current flow through your your collector junction so your ic equals to zero for this case your ic equals to zero right ic equals to zero if your ib equals to zero hence your ic equals to zero if you draw your equivalent circuit for cutoff region or open switch mode you can see this is the equivalent circuit for your cutoff mode since ib equals to zero this emitter junction is also open so there is no current flow through collector to emitter so at that point of time you can see your collector to emitter voltage which is vce cutoff vce cutoff equals to vcc that means voltage across your collector to emitter junction is equal to your your vcc voltage so that is how a transistor works in a cutoff mode or cutoff region and it acts like a open switch it acts like a open switch you can see so in cutoff mode our vce cutoff equals to vcc now let us understand how transistor works in a saturation region or saturation mode and it acts like a closed switch right so in the circuit here, if you apply some base voltage, that is VBB. So if you apply some volt base voltage and you have some current flow across base to emitter junction. So there would be some IB which will flow through your base to emitter junction, right? Base to emitter junction, that is VBE. So this is VBE. 
voltage across base two emitter junction is VB, it is typically 0.7 for NPN transistor, right? So there is a current flow across your base two emitter junction, and then you have some current flow across your collector to emitter junction. So there is a current, some current flow across this junction, right? So IC will flow here. So what will be your equivalent circuit now, right? So you can see your equivalent circuit here VCC. Then we have R2. Then this 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 works as a closed switch. So it is connected, marked connected here, collector to emitter junction. So now if you want to find out the collector current for this circuit, so IC equals to VCC. You have you have to apply KVL in this loop in this loop. So IC equals to VCC minus VCE set collector to emitter saturated voltage VCE set divided by R2 divided by R2 that will give you IC set. So this is very important for formula you need to remember right now if you want to find out the IB minimum what what is the minimum value of your base current which will gives your which will gives your maximum saturated current. So if you want to find out your IB IB minimum equals to IC set this value IC set divided by beta DC right so this is also a very important formula so you need to remember uh, three things now when transistor works in a cutoff region so at that point of time your VBC is saturated equals to VCC and when your transistor works in a saturation region or it acts like a closed switch the IC equals to VCC minus VCE set divided by R2 and IB min equals to IC set divided by beta DC, right? Hope you understand how now how transistor works as a switch, how transistor works in a cutoff mode and how transistor works in a saturation mode or how transistor work acts like a open switch or how transistor acts like a closed switch, right? Now I will take one numerical problem here and I will explain how transistor works as a switch. So let us say our VB is 5 volt, our VC is 10 volt, here you have 10 volt, here you have 5 volt and your transistor T1 is BC547, right? And for, if you go and look the data sheet for BC547, your base to emitter saturated voltage is 0.7 and collector to emitter saturated voltage is 0.25. Then let us say your beta dc minimum is 110 beta basically dc is nothing but basically a current gain right then you have r2 equals to 1k now the question is you have to find out the vcc when vbv equals to 0 this is the cutoff condition then again for saturation condition you have to find out ic sat ib minimum and what is the maximum value of this base resistance r1 right so if your VB B equals to zero, that means your transistor is working in cutoff mode. At that point of time, your VCE equals to VBCE equals to equals to VCC. We have already said which is equals to 10 volt for our case, right? It is equal to 10 volt. Now this is the cutoff condition. Okay, this is the cutoff condition. Now we will calculate for this saturation mode or saturation condition so you already know what is what you want to find out ic set ic set right so ic set maximum equals to equals to vcc you already know the formula vcc minus vc set vc set divide by r2 right so you already know what is vcc that is 10 volt minus vc equals to 0.25 volt 0.25 volt and r2 equals to 1k so if you solve this you will get 9.975 milliampere right 9.75 milliampere so your ICE set, your IC 
is at equals to 9.75 milliampere. Now you have to find out the IB minimum, minimum base current. Okay, so IB min equals to IC is at IC is at divided by beta DC. You already know this formula beta DC. So IC is at equals to 9.75 milliampere. 9.75 milliampere and divide by beta DC 110. If you solve this 9.75 milliampere and 110, you will get around 88 microampere current, 88 UA microampere. So your base current is now 88 microampere when your IC is at equals to 9.75. Now you have to calculate the value of R1. Okay, so to calculate the value of R1, you have to apply KVL in this loop. So this R1 equals to R1 equals to VBB minus 5 volt minus VBE. This is plus here, this is minus here. So this is VBE. 0 0.7 volt, which is given here. VBE is at 0 0.7 volt and divide by IB. IB, what, what is your IB? That is 88 microampere around. I'm not writing the exact value, 88 microampere. If you further solve it, your R1 equals to around 48.8K. 48 so maximum, maximum R1 max, this is R1 max here. So maximum value you can placed at your base of this transistor to operate transistor to operate transistor as a switch is 48.8 kilo ohm so hope you understand how transistor works as a switch how trans transistor works in a cutoff mode how transistor works in a saturation mode how it acts like open switch and how it acts like a closed switch now the practical application is let us say in the circuit you want to you want to drive your LED with some current. So for this application here you have, let us say LED. Now it's, 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 it's a homework for you. You have to design your LED for forward current 20 milliampere. Now this is, this is a homework question. You can find it and write the answer in comment section. Let us say here you have you want to drive a LED with a forward current of 20 milliampere then the question is what is the value of R2 and what is the value of R1 so please find the value of R2 then please find the value of R1 and write in the write in the comment section so if you understand how transistor works as a switch if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section right <laughs>